What's it for? <laughs> it's not a fence. No one would want to attack this place. It's a huge dam that keeps the lake waters at bay. You're wrong. The moon's not that far away. Astonishing. Sure is. What a magnificent place. I'll show place. you more of the city if you like, Pocahontas. Oh, yes, please. This quarter used to be the entire city. Now it's Tenochtitlan's fourth district. Where is everybody going? Is something special going on? That's the Talala Talolco market. It's the largest market in the world. This is where the goldsmiths have their stalls. Just like the Mayas. <laughs> now come with me. They're expecting us at the palace. The palace? Let's go. Remember to bow deeply before the great Montezuma. You must show the utmost humility in his presence. I'm sorry, we're not Montezuma's subjects. We'll show our respect in our own way. <gasps> uh, uh... Don't make that face. We're messengers of the great spirit. We'll behave properly. All right. This way. We should all respect each other's traditions, but let's not overdo it. Almighty Montezuma, I bring you the ambassadors of the Great Spirit. Welcome. My priests and my people await your message with great anticipation. Don't let them down. The Great Spirit's message is for everyone. Priests, princes, and paupers. If time permits, I too will come hear the message you bring from the Great Spirit. You're leaving soon, so I'll take this opportunity to wish you a safe journey and say goodbye. Red Heron, you have my permission to join them. Thank you, Almighty One. You may now... Withdraw. Who does he think he is?
This Montezuma's just a big buffoon. That's what <laughs> I think, Hopio. He strikes me as very insecure and frightened, like he thinks something bad is going to happen to him. Oh. Well, if it were up to mock, yeah. it will. Huh? He'll bring the world down on him. <laughs> Better watch it. <laughs> I'm flattered you think I'm capable of such a thing. I could give it a try. <laughs> That's enough. Let's go. All right. Ah, you must be the ambassadors from the Great Spirit. Welcome to the Empire of the Incas. I was waiting for you to take you to Cusco, our capital. Thank you. Let me introduce myself, Gaumon Chumo. A pleasure. We are all very happy that you've come. I'm sorry this Tampu is so humble, but a little further on you'll find better shelter. It'll be just fine. Thank you so much. It's not my doing. I just follow my chief's orders. This way. I've never seen animals like these. Why are they held captive? They're called llamas, and their stamina makes them very useful. Oh! Oh! They can carry very heavy loads for long distances. You can find them at every post house or tampu. You call them llamas? Hmm. 
I gave a kipu to the messenger. In five days, the Incas will know that you have arrived. What's a kipu? This is a kipu. The number of knots in their position relate a message. Oh. Oh, I'm certainly happy to hear it'll only take a few days to get there. Oh no, the Incas will have the message in five days, but it'll take us about a month. A oh, month. month? But if the messengers get there in five days, why should it take us a month? Isn't that strange? Yeah, why is that? The Shoskis, as they are called, run very fast. Hmm. Each Shosky runs as fast as he can with the Kipu for only six minutes. When he reaches the next Tampu, he blows a conch shell to let the next runner know he should get ready to go. That's how the message gets to Cusco in only five days. I'm impressed. It sounds like a very efficient system. Now I understand why it'll take us a month to get there. goods that each province gives the Incas as tribute. The post houses are collecting points. Hmm, I see. See that bridge? We're going to cross it now. Don't worry. It's very sturdy. Oh, that's very impressive. I've never seen anything like it. I just hope he doesn't leave us stranded in the middle. Give me your hand. I'll help you. Oh, we're so high up. Oh, it's shaking. Don't look down. Gets to breathe. Gumen Chuma warned us. That's true, but but I didn't think it would be this bad. Look at them. They're not panting at all. <sighs> they look like we do when we're walking on the plains. I guess they must be used to the mountains. Oh no, not another bridge. That's right. But I promise you it's the last one. Once we reach the other side, we'll be very close to Cusco. Come on! Oh. It's no different than the first one. That doesn't make me feel any better. It shakes too much. If we fall, we'll be flattened like corn cakes.
Welcome to Cusco. The long journey was worth it. It's beautiful. Straight ahead, you can see the Square of Happiness. That's where you'll find all the royal palaces and temples, and all the roads that lead to the other imperial capitals start from there. <laughs> We've almost reached the Square of Happiness. is made of gold. No, they're just covered with a thin layer of gold. This young nobleman is Waskar, son of the Sapa Inca, Waina Sapa. Greetings, my friends. I'm Prince Waskar. Greetings. I'm very honored to meet you. I am Pocahontas, envoy of the Great Spirit, with my escort. My father asked me to come here to welcome you. Uh... He also asked me to act as your guide. Oh, thank you. We can go in now, if you like. They're so polite. Yeah, but they're so weird. <laughs> they're like our worst nightmare. You don't look any better. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> That was a long journey. I'm sure glad we made it. Felt like it had never ended. And I have the feeling we're only halfway through. That's right. This road continues south until it joins the road that runs up and down the coast. What are all these roads for? Think about it. Thanks to these roads, they've managed to conquer an enormous amount of territory. The warriors can move quickly anywhere. Good morning. Did you get some rest? Yes, we did. Thank you very much. Would you like to take a tour of our capital now? Yes, we're very eager to learn about your way of life. Very good. Cusco has so much to offer. Follow me. I want to tell you about our people as well. The city's 12 districts all begin right here in this square. The city is divided into four large sections that represent the four regions of the world, our world. Why are your buildings covered in gold? Not all of them are. These are next to the Sun Temple, and gold is the symbol of the sun. You worship the sun? Yes, and the creator of the sun. And the Sapa Inca, my father, is the embodiment of the sun on Earth. What building is this? It's the Palace of the Sun Virgins. What? Yes, you could very well have been chosen as a sun virgin. Well, I, for one, am glad she wasn't. Who are these women chosen as sun virgins? We find the most beautiful young women in the Empire and bring them here to Cusco, where they live together in isolation and learn to weave. Some of them become royal concubines, and the others weave royal garments for the great Lord of the Incas and his wife. How can weaving clothes for only two people keep so many people busy? Huh? Because they only wear a garment once. Really? Then it's burnt. What's that? It's breathtaking! That's the Curi Cancha. It means the golden fence. Oh, I've never seen anything like it. Oh. <laughs> this is where the first Inca had his house when he was sent by the sun god to guide and help mankind. Surrounding us are the Temple of the Sun, the Moon, the Temple of the Stars, of Lightning, and the Rainbow. This is where all the Sun Priests gather. Oh. What's going on? Oh, it's, uh... My father, he called for a three-day holiday. Everyone's going to the market.
everyone is obliged to come here to learn of the latest decrees of the Inca. That man over there, for example, is a public crier who's announcing the new decree. I've never seen so many different goods all in one place like You can this. find anything. Thanks to our travels, we've learned that the Maya, the Aztecs, and the Incas all have the same origins. That's very true, Pocahontas. We are three different peoples who descend from the same ancestors. That explains why you have the same culture and traditions, and your religions are so similar. We all worship the Sun God. And the knowledge of your common history has been handed down from one generation to the next. As we will hand it down to future generations.